Welcome students, let's learn about symmetry today. Observe the leaves. In the middle, there is a vein that runs the full length of the leaf. Fold the leaf along that vein. What do you see? One part of the leaf falls exactly on the other. Now, fold the leaf in different ways along other veins. What do you see? One part of the leaf does not fall exactly on the other. Now take a triangular piece of paper, fold it exactly half. You can see that one part of the triangle falls exactly on the other. Now take another triangle as shown. Try to fold it exactly half. You can see that one part of the triangle does not fall exactly on the other. So what is a symmetry? If the two parts of a figure made by a line fall exactly on one another, then the figure is said to be symmetrical about that line. And if the two parts do not fall exactly on one another, then the figure is not symmetrical about that line. Let's observe some of the following figures which are symmetrical about the given dotted line and some are not. Now let's solve the given exercise. Determine whether the figures given below are symmetrical about any line or not. Put a tick below the picture if it is symmetrical and a cross if it is not. For each of the figures below, draw a line along which you would fold the figure to show that it is symmetrical. Here, in each of the symmetrical figures given below, color the two symmetrical parts in different colors. Observe the given figure and its line of symmetry. The first one is a rectangle, it has two lines of symmetry. Second one is a square, it has four lines of symmetry. The third one is a parallelogram, it has no lines of symmetry. The fourth one is a rhombus, it has two lines of symmetry. Now let's take a square piece of paper and examine its symmetry by folding it in different ways. You can even try folding papers of different shapes and examine its symmetry. Let's learn about closed figures and open figures. A geometrical figure that begins and ends at the same point is called a closed figure. These are some of the closed figures. If the two ends of a geometrical figure are not joined, then the figure is called an open figure. These are some of the open figures. Here is a closed figure. The thing can be join points A and B with a line that does not touch the given figure. Can we join points B and C in the same way? Here this is an open figure. So thing can we join points P and F with a line that does not touch the given figure? Can we join points P and M in the same way? The answer is given below. Read carefully. Let's solve this. Find the open and closed figures and write it down. Let's complete this activity. Observe the closed and open figures in the rangoli shown here. Color the rangolis and enjoy. Thank you. Like my video, share it with your friends and do tell them to subscribe.